everyone and welcome back to Ask Living So. Again, my name is Isabella and in today's video we're going to be going over what is IRR versus what is MOIC. If you're not familiar with these two terms, they are going to be something that comes up most likely in your investment banking interview or in an interview for another finance role. If you stay towards the end, I'm going to go through a sample answer if you get this on an interview question. Without further ado, let's hop in. Alright everybody, so the first thing I did is I headed over to the Wall Street Oasis site and in the search bar you can type in MOIC versus IRR. I can go ahead and put this link in the description box below for your guys' reference. So MOIC in finance. MOIC stands for Multiple Uninvested Capital. Basically, it's something that's defined by its own name. If you invest $100 and your return is $1,000 in two years, then your MOIC is 10x. Pretty simple, 100 times 10 gives you that 1,000 over the two-year period. Additionally, if you invest $100 and your return is $1,000 in 10 years, then your MOIC will remain at a 10x. Therefore, the time does not affect this multiple. On the other hand, IRR, or internal rate of return, is an estimate of a rate of return that an investment is expected to provide. Usually, a higher IRR means a more profitable investment. The main difference between the two of these things is that IRR is affected by time. The inclusion of time means we are accounting for the opportunity cost of the dollars locked into the investment. Consequently, eternal rate of returns can be seen as a more useful metric to prospective investors. Now, an example of the two of these things, if you get it in an interview question, usually the way that this question is formatted is, let's say you have two investment opportunities, one has a higher MOIC and one has a higher IRR, which you prefer. Now this is a comparison question, and in most comparison questions you need to focus on the third variable, and of course the third variable for this is time. There are three things to keep in mind when answering this question. One, given two cash flows, MOIC will be the same regardless of time, like the example we gave above. Two. IRR will change for the exact same cash flows depending on when they are paid. And three, most solid candidates get these two quantitative points, what some people miss in the qualitative one, which is why do you care in the real world? That's because a 40% IRR across a three month investment is useless. You want a dollar value of proceeds that is meaningful to both you and the LPs. Similarly, an MOIC of 3x across 11 years is similarly unattractive because the actual returns are not compelling. So the answer is it depends. One other great point that somebody pointed in the comment section is for these questions, you don't want to memorize answers to certain scenarios, but to understand their fundamentals so you can think through all variants of the same question. Here they give another really great example of something if you want to look further into potential questions that you might come across. All in all, both of these principles are different measures of return and MOIC is not affected by time while IRR is. Alrighty everybody, I hope this video was really helpful to you. If you can leave some feedback in the comments down below, give this video a thumbs up and share this video with any of your friends to help them out as well. You can also subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you'll get notified every single time we post a video on this channel. Thank you again for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.